onto the stream me YouTube page or just yeah. go to stream There we are, we're live. So, Am I live? Um, as, as we're being so told by the people are. here at Streamly, like, you can also go to Streamly. <laughs> I am here with my friends from uh, summer school, summer school or YouTube, my classmates. Yes. YouTube channel on you, Streamly. Yeah. And so you'll get to see can all you hear of the Patrick? people from summer school. So, yes. <laughs> so Fabiana's so, over here, Ken so, is over here. So what do we have to tell them? Log on to Streamly. Streamly. .com. Forward slash summer school. Forward slash summer school. Forward slash summer school. a little bit of and uh, there we go. People are joining. Wave. wave, wave. And Hi. we'll be here signing. Like, yeah, you know, this is I my like first this. This is really Instagram kind of cool. live. I've never done this. I've never done this before. Boom. There he goes. There we go. Okay, so i got to get my hair right. Just first, you, gotta, oh, yeah. you know what? Do you need any help? Yes, sir. I need, what I need is a giant ring light. Ah. Well, <laughs> I only brought one. <laughs> you probably have brought one. Can you bring it up for everyone? No. Well, I can I can share. I can share. You can share my light. Share my light. I can't believe we're all together. This is amazing. Is it, on Streamly.com, they can see us that we're actually together, right? On Streamly, they can. Yeah. Right. And then here, so, we got Ken and Owen. Okay. And then over there, it's Fabio. Yep. We're going yeah. live. Yeah. I'm going to do that. That's beautiful. better. With beautiful Fabio. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. yes. Ken Hale. Ken Hale. Ken Hale. Ken Hale. Ken Hale. Oh. Oh. We're going. I've always been murdered. Look at that. What is the correct pronunciation? Fabiana Udenio. 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 But most people go Udenio, no? Yeah, no, 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 that's me. I do that all the time. So I have Excuse you guys, sorry. <laughs> Fabiana Udenio. Oh, my God, Patrick. So there we go. Yes, yes. I have a few minutes here. You can tell. Dean, you guys. Why are you so far away? Why are you so far away? You see Patrick's left toe right here? Uh, he, oh, yeah. We need you out here, buddy. We are so excited yeah. to be here with you guys oh, today. So, so uh, it's kind of mass yeah, hysteria. Hey, what's <laughs> Hey, Charlie. And it's it's very basically, strange. it's like if you gave a bunch of monkeys a, voice <laughs> a, a bag of poo, <laughs> but instead they gave a bunch of old people cameras and phones. Yeah. Who's old? Hey, wait, speak for yourself. That's right. Yes. Oh so those of us are still pushing you. Kelly, yeah, exactly. who's old? Huh? I'm not old. <laughs> Well, I got my ring light. I got my ring light. Yeah, you're, 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 you're dropped 20 years. <laughs> Look at that. George, hi, Jordan. There we go. So, Rob, is there a way I can get our internet here on my laptop? Yes. So, this is hot tub season. Yes. Yes, hot tub season. Awesome power. Exactly. What else? Okay. And they're sending us waves or something. Yeah, and they're talking to us. All of us, we're, our, uh, my eyes are so bad. I'm not sure who these right, people are. See, one minute and then you get too seconds. close. Then, oh, then it's like this. Then it's Dad's <laughs> forehead. Joel, yes. Hot to hey, it's Dad's it. forehead. Right, I'm going to take a small video so right we've now. Got, uh, ready? Save shampoo. Hey, Jay, we are here with we've got TT. Pit, 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 oh. pit, 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 we have so many phones and so many cameras 11. going. Yeah, so there's a whole. These are the pictures of the designing. What so many cameras happen? for us actors to look at. We're literally melting down. My God, it's like, all we it's need is crazy. paparazzi. Where is the paparazzi? So, uh, <laughs> for the overall, right, so, yes, we have one minute to start. Streamly.com forward slash summer school or here. YouTube slash Streamly. Streamly. Uh, YouTube.com slash Streamly. And you'll see the summer okay. school YouTube.com slash Streamly. I, I hope you guys heard everything. YouTube.com slash Streamly. Or Streamly.com slash There we are. Or Streamly.com slash Summer School. There we are. Or and we can see us together rather than just me. Oh my goodness, I have my sister there, Lorena. Ciao, tesoro. Wow. Yeah. This is my first. We are live. We are live. Grazie, grazie, Lori, grazie. We're not going to be live. Like right now, we don't count. We're not really live yet. But in 2018, 18, 18 17 seconds. Okay, Why are you over there? Dean, why are you over there? I, 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 Oh, well, come on join the club. Right here, got a corner right here. Come on. Come on. Do you think I'm on to Yeah, pause, do the four. Yeah, you can share my ring light. No? Tell me if it works. Oh, look at this. They're showing something. I was in Black and Decker. I was in Texas Massacre. <laughs> We're watching the movie. We're watching a clip from summer school. Oh, yeah, we've got we've got intro reels. Amazing. I don't know. Honey, what's wrong? I don't know what's wrong. Every, everything's blank. I don't know anything. <laughs> 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 thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. 
I say that all the time. She, it's, it's a, a lie. It looks, looks the same. Look at her. She's like, life is a lie. <laughs> oh, I'm ringing the bell too in honor of the character. Like, <laughs> I went 80s a little bit. You guys. How old are you? Present. 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 Right. right. What is he teaching? He's teaching a class. I think he's teaching voice, voice acting. acting. He's a voice actor. Right. <laughs> Remedial acting. We <laughs> all need a little bit of a of a refresher. Yeah. Casual. Ooh la la. Those guys are fun. One of them. Yeah, you should have seen how, <laughs> how, how, how much oil did you have on you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Free stuff. Harvey kept saying I had to shave my butt. <laughs> no, I got the mix up. Oh, look, it's just like a mark. Mamma mia. Just think about what you're saying. I mean, if you could be 17 again. Oh, you know that. You guys you know now. Be 17, 17, yeah. 17. Oh, I know. That's a direct <laughs> line meeting from Paul Miner. I was. Yeah. I was but it's so funny, like, I was you guys look green. older than... What's that file say about me? No, don't <laughs> say oh. that. No, you guys look like... Have you seen that one What's that file say about me? Because it's like... <laughs> it's alive. He looks like he's like... Damn right. Jam with like, it. He's like a junior, and you guys look like the seniors in school. I mean, so that's why I'm watching it, I'm like... But you know, there are some oh, teachers out there. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. 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 That looks super young. I swear you look the same. You look super young. She's never walked out of cause. Cause there are, I can't uh, see because I need my glasses to see that. There you go. My body is out of control. No, I need five. 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 Glasses to see the clips. Oh, yeah, this is so bad. Bad. This is <laughs> can't be interesting for you to watch. We're all sitting here watching the movie we made. It's, it's, it's almost, it's, it's really ridiculous. It's, it's true. It's, 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 it's you, you two oh, have a lot of time here. Oh, okay, nice. to get into, uh, and now we're into the live autograph signing on my cast to some extent. That's us. What is up, my friend? Rob Fury here. Hello, hello, hello. There we go. Rob Fury here with streaming. And ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome you to the cast. Of summer school. Hey. Hey. <laughs> so we are going to go. Oh, yeah, I need to come down here. We're going to go in a semicircle, mm -hmm. and we're going to. You're going to introduce who you are, your character, and one of the favorite quotes or things that you loved about your character. Let's start off with. Hi, ciao. <laughs> so yes, my character in summer school was Anna Maria Mazzarelli. And delicious. let's see. Right? See. I'm sorry? It sounded delicious. <laughs> Thank you. Speaking of delicious, one of the favorite uh, lines was uh, when uh, Dave and Chenzo are following me in the hallway and they are talking about we love Italian, we love Italy, uh, sh we love Chef Boyeri. Chef Boyeri, which I had to research when, <laughs> <laughs> when I read Turns that line. I didn't know yeah. what. Uh, so my favorite line is, oh my God, I hate that. It's so mushy, whatever the line was. But anyway, I love that, that little moment because I remember having to research uh, Chef Boyardee. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> this is indeed something that exists. He has no mission For all stories. Italians, what is okay, Chef Boyardee? It's spaghetti in a can, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Next up. No, it's about Fabiana is on a TV series on Netflix. She's on a new series with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Thank you. Uh, thank, yes. you thank you. Look <laughs> yes, at her. Yes, I mean, yes, you yes. can watch that, definitely. It will, will be dropping uh, in 2023. It's uh, inspired uh, by True Lies. Oh. And I'm playing his ex-wife. And it's for Netflix. It's, uh, Exciting, I know, it's huh? a big deal. Uh, awesome. It's called FUBAR. And it's, uh, <laughs> oh, you guys know what that is? I yeah. had to research oh, yeah. that too. <laughs> we know that pretty well. So. Right, right, right. Chef Fubar. Yes, Chef Fubar. Yes. Yeah, Chef and it's, yes, it's like a dream come true, come true that this character that I'm playing in uh, Fubar. So oh. thank you. You're thank right. you for the play. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Look, hi, hi there. What am I looking at? This one? Oh, yeah. You're looking uh, at that. Oh, yeah. Ken Olan played Larry Kazamayas. Kazamayas was actually the way it was supposed to be pronounced. Um, 
And what was the question? So <laughs> my favorite line during, during the movie was, uh, if you knew then what I know now, which is the best line to have, is particularly talking to someone with an ego as big as Mark Harmon. <laughs> Here, listen, Mark. Now, it was really, really wonderful to be on that show, particularly with everybody here, because you can see the fun we're having now it's, hasn't changed in all these years. It's been the same, and it was really the same on the set, too. Harmon was wonderful. Called everybody up when the movie came out, every one of us individually, and said, your movie's coming out, break a leg. And that is such class. Um, today, he asked me to get him a coffee, but... I <laughs> <laughs> right. That's right. Well, he was more focused on my, my, my backside here. <laughs> and oiled up. Anyway, so what I do now is I take people on motorcycles across the country from all over the world. They come to ride Harley Davidson's on this side of the pond, and uh, we do about 15 to 16 days of uh, bucket list kind of things. Really amazing stuff. Uh, large groups, about 30 people on 15 to 17 motorcycles. Um, it's been really, really fun, and that's uh, what my life. I have five kids now. So they're all in summer Amazing. school. No, <laughs> no, no, they're all, they're not kids anymore. They're wonderful, wonderful people That's doing so much. You can check them out. Just type in my last name and I'm sure they'll, they'll, they'll pop, pop up. up. Yeah. You know, anyways, um, thanks for showing up. Hey guys, Patrick Labberto. I play Kevin Winchester, the football player. And I think my line was, I'm in summer school because I'm stupid. Oh. Which I thought was hysterical. Right? Yeah. yeah. I think they say they change it to dumb because I'm dumb. But yeah, that was it. That was my that's that's my favorite. And it, this is a true joy to be with you guys. I think it? it's really fun to see oh. you guys. Especially we haven't seen you. I haven't seen you I know. in forever. I, know. I can't talk to you, Ryan, right now. I know you're calling. <laughs> so I am Kelly Jo Mincer yeah. and Oh, that, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at my phone. So I, was looking at my phone I, was, I, was, I was looking at my I'm phone, too. I was looking at my phone as well. I'm Kelly Mincer. I play Denise. And uh, one of the lines is, guess what? I don't even remember. I'm not dyslexic, but I don't remember the lines. I mean, hey, I'm here right now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's live in the moment. Uh, that whole thing is jammed with you. Okay. So, <laughs> That's the did one. you guys hear? You say it with me, That's Patrick. It. That whole the whole thing, thing is jammed, jammed with ingredients. <laughs> yeah, I That's am just favorite. so happy to be here to meet my castmates. Uh, you know what? It's it's amazing that this is 35 years ago, yeah. and what? that people still mm -hmm. know this film. <laughs> know. Comes out every year. There's not a week that goes by that somebody doesn't come up to me and says, you know, oh my god. That that movie got me through this. I know it might seem corny, but they say that that film got them through this. It's it's a funny film. It's the nostalgia. It's a uh, you know it's just one of those things. It's summer yeah. school, so I am glad to be a part of it and to be with these people here today. How about this? Yeah, I said we're happy you're here. <laughs> yeah, Karen, Bella. great to see you, Ken. Hope you're okay from your oompa loompa buddy. <laughs> Ooh. I'm from your Oompa Loompa buddy. Uh, like like Chainsaw <laughs> in the uh, motion picture film play Summer School. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I think an underappreciated line was "Do the dance for me, baby." When we were, uh, watching Summer School, when we were watching. Like, oh, oh, dance. when you when you dance with the chainsaw, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which I, I don't know if that was a a loop or a, a, I did it there, but I like that line. Yeah, yeah it's a good deal. Right. Who are you saying it to? Do the, la the dance when we're watching at the end, I just go, I just kept telling uh, Leatherface, do the dance for me. Because oh. Leatherface oh, raises the, the chainsaw. chainsaw. Was that ad libbed? Was that actually written? Was That's that line written? No, that was no, he came up. Uh, My favorite line for, from you yeah. was, uh, which was written in the script. They wrote the word, but they didn't write the pronunciation. Oh, Tobey. 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 Very classic. That's right. Tobey. Who apparently did not appreciate. Is that right? He later said. I heard, yeah, I heard things like, Probably um, because everyone's probably started no, calling, calling him Tobey Hooper. Because that came from uh, Joel Schumacher, who is the director. We're he, right, which well, I, you entitled. We used to call him Joel Schumacher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that blew Everybody got a French. Everybody got a French. Sorry about that. No, don't worry about that. You see, your clip got so excited. That you guys are here, that it just dropped. That's right. I'm gonna need a better place. So you guys actually answer? Yeah. 
She's, she's, she's <laughs> dropping. There we go. I'm not that good at this. So you actually answer the, the typing while we're doing this. No. no. Oops. Okay. Okay. At least I'm not dropping, dropping the phone. <laughs> Kelly, you're... I know. Wait, you, you know yeah. what? Okay, hook me up here. Where's the but typing for messages that was coming in? Oh, you guys have this too. Oh, I just brought uh, this up. Uh, uh, hey, Ra uh, Rob, when you get a moment. You I can, have a laptop too. I have you, a, yeah, bring it out. How do you so do where, it? where are we going to see? That's how we make Here's some more old, see. old Welcome man. Welcome to the 21st forward. century. Hey. Um, <laughs> la, la, la. la <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's yeah, like that's how we make it work. work. Yeah. It's like so, an earthquake <laughs> movie right here. <laughs> yeah, so let's make sure that this is really perfect. Okay. All right, so... Ladies and gentlemen, we are back on track now. So, okay. I know that everybody is here for the summer school guide. So, go to streamly.com slash summer school. Get your prints because you know you want a piece of this 80s love in your house. Now, I think that me, and I speak for a lot of the audience, that I think that the reason why we resonated so much with this movie is because throughout our, you know, Education, we kind of messed up. We went to summer school, so <laughs> let, let's be real. But so let me ask you guys: Have you ever gone to summer school in real life? No, I went to set school, so hell yeah, I have no education. <laughs> <laughs> so like a, a yeah. jock, but yeah, acting, you know, exactly. instead of sports, it was acting. I, yeah, I yeah. did summer school. Did you? Yeah, do you need to know more detail about that? <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, no, I did. I, I had to no, I had to do summer school in in Calgary. We, I grew up in Vancouver, Canada, and I had to go to Calgary oh. to do summer school because I was dumb. I, but nah, I was too dumb. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So you went to Calgary, did you have to do it on horseback? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> That's right. Roping one on one. Yeah. No, I had to, I had to go to summer school. I, yeah, I got kicked out of school. A couple times. Times. Kicked out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I got kicked out of art Ooh. center. They said you should not be here. And then you just How did said, they kick okay, out of art school? I know, that sounds pretty, pretty funny, funny. No, it's true, because they said I wasn't there. This is really true. This is why follow your passion and listen, listen, listen if you can, because it's amazing. I, I did not, I loved art. I'm pretty good at art. I just, I couldn't stay in the school because my, my heart wasn't to be sitting down and doing this stuff. And then they said Your heart to me, was stripping. My heart was a stripper. <laughs> <laughs> and they said, look, you should, you know, Thank it's you. a good idea if you maybe take the next summer year whatever the rest of your life off for a while right now and come back and reevaluate and I did and that's when I found I was meeting a friend at a restaurant and that's how I got into acting was the agent who was at the restaurant oh. noticed me with his, with his wife and they wow. sent a message to me and that got me connected to them and from that point on wow. it was so oh. fast so fast so if I'd stayed in our center I probably would never had this chance to be here be with you guys I have a life I have. So the long range right. plan started. Stay out of school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the long range plan basically is is listen and follow, you know, because now art's coming back for me. I'm back into it. <laughs> oh, <geez>. Bless you. <laughs> <Bullshit. laughs> <laughs> what was that in the line we used? In the movie. You know, that was the, what was the one? Well, I definitely went to summer school because I missed too many days of school. Oh. So I had to go to make sure I had my credit. To graduate. Question, did you school. open the book at all, like your character did? <laughs> uh, you know what, it was, hmm, it's not that I didn't like school, it was just, um, School didn't I like was, you. School, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just wasn't mutual. You know, like, I was just like an unsupervised uh, kid, and, you, you know, go. we were, you know, how do you get to school? Okay, uh, we didn't have money to catch the bus. You know what I mean? We were just, uh, wow. it wasn't a good situation. So it's kind of like, was I smart? Yes. Um, did I want to be in school? There were just certain subjects that I liked. I always loved art. Mm -hmm. So what you're saying, Ken, I'm, I yeah. feel you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. you know. You got, cause look, at you, look at you now, Kelly. Hey. Look at you now. Hey, man. Right? Look, hey, man. Hey, man. <laughs> I was a straight A student. I was so good in Rub school. Rub it in. Yeah, it was, she's like, oh, you guys went to summer school. Sorry, straight A. Don't understand. Bobby, I'm actually, she was a straight A student. But is that the same thing in Italy as the it is in the United States? I swear to God. Or is it like, hey, 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 h
to cram it up and to perform well and and I uh, am and and uh, I got straight A's and I finished high school with the highest and then I didn't go on to college because I started doing theater and and my my and so that that grade that would have allowed me to go into uh, universities and get scholarships I didn't use it so my classmates Quinta Chi Roma, they're still going, how the hell did you do it? I mean, that's still a little bit like, you don't even right. need this, and you got it. So, yeah, I was very, very good in school. I liked school, but I liked acting better. So, I was, awesome. a, I was a child actor like you. Okay. Yes. And what about but, you, So, yeah. No, it wasn't summer school. I, I managed to squeeze by all my classes. And did fairly well. <laughs> See? Yeah. I was doing theater. He was at A plus, so he just ah. turned out. Because you weren't using the See? Because I was valedictorian like three times. Right. <laughs> I was teaching summer school. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. So, okay. with your characters and being a part of literally, it's 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 a cult classic. It is such a cool cult classic. With your characters, because everybody had a set image, a set like that was you were like the cool person that couldn't drop. You were just the cool weirdo horror guy. You were the cool job. You were just the cool dude that, unfortunately, you made out with your arm. Uh, you were the cool uh, foreigner. You, he was asleep, so he didn't even hear that comment. So, but like, yeah, sorry, <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't even listening. Apparently, they can't hear me either right now. So I said, this thing you can't hear me. If you guys can hear me, let me know. If not, I need to change a setting, maybe. Yeah, possibly, or just raise the volume on your phone. That could possibly be it. But my question is, in real life, compared real life. to the characters that you played, how much life. of it was true to life and how much of it was just strictly an acting role? Like, I have Bruno. No, nothing like this character. Or, yeah, we're like twins. Oh, for me, it was uh, ridiculous. I played the football player in summer school. I played the football player right. in Heather's. I had, yet, I had never seen a football game. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 the, and, the, and the stupid thing is, is that when I was a kid actor on Little House on the Prairie, Merlin Olson played my father, yeah. who wow. was like this legend, right? Had no idea, had no idea about football. And then I'm in no summer idea. school with Mark Harmon, who is his legendary quarterback for UCLA. And so I'm in the pads, and we're doing the scene where Harmon's going to teach me how so. to, you know, like block or tackle a, so a, 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 a quarterback. And I'm feeling pretty good about myself, obviously. I'm in good shape, and now I'm in pads, and now I'm feeling kind of invincible. And Harmon, he comes over to him, and he goes, you look good. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. And we had our helmets on. He goes, you ready? I go, yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, right. And he grabs my, my face mask, and he hits, you know, right. tap, taps helmets, right? Well, that's what it looks like when you see it outside on the football field. This explains everything about Patrick from then on. <laughs> taps helmets. My bell was rung for like a week, and I was oh, like, wow, really? I thought the helmet was supposed to protect the head, <laughs> but it, it hurt so bad. But now I've got, I'm across from Harmon, and I can't say that it hurt. Right. I can't act like it's, you know, it, I'm in pain. I go, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I turn around, and I go, oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> like that. And so we do these things, and then we had, uh, we had the whole set, the situation set up. I end up tackling his his stunt guy, but no, the I was nothing like Kevin Winchester. I was probably more along the lines of what I was in 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 the relationship with uh, um, Rhonda with mm -hmm. Shawnee, where just picking the wrong people. <laughs> I mean, she's a sweetheart, but yeah, you don't, you don't pick a it. pregnant girl to like pregnant high school girl. To pregnant high school girl. <laughs> hey, what's up? Yeah, how many pregnancies? You know, so there you go. Sorry, this now. Okay, tell me if the video is still working, uh, the audio was working now. I don't know. Who's so next? why are they telling me the camera is sideways? Why because is this happening? Because it's an Instagram. Instagram doesn't do doesn't do. Oh. So yeah. okay. what? How do we? Fi I'm sideways. Just turn it. You're sideways. Just turn I can't, it. It's not easy. How do I turn it? Oh well, no, Fabiana, you got to do the whole thing like this. <laughs> yeah, like you did last <laughs> time. <laughs> like you did. <laughs> that was a problem. Instagram doesn't do side. Oh. Yeah. Voila. Still no audio. I got no audio. I don't know, I don't know why uh, I'm doing uh, it. Uh huh. I'd activate your. Yeah, audio okay. Set. Now <laughs> we're not sideways. Ooh. Hello. Right, so. There you go. Right now, Oh, that's much better. I think, am I lying? Well, people are waving. 
Yes, well, then that means you're involved. Okay, so that's good. Oh, thank God. Yeah. You guys are awesome. So, right now, we yeah. have been... <sighs> Sorry, I have to <laughs> run around with to go get those markers. Because you guys, we're going to continue this conversation, and we're going to be signing some autographs. Well, well, that's signing some autographs. That's yeah, why we're a, here. It's a, it's a combination. They're going to have me do. Uh, we are going <laughs> to. Be so confused. I'm here with the Whoa. cast. I'm not that sure. I'm signing and I have to talk at the same time. So, well, with a name like Laberto, I'm spelling it out in my head every time I write it, and that's not a joke. L A B Y O T. You can do that. Go get me the autograph. There you go. So, that's awesome. Join us. This is. So there's, there's a friend that you're going to be signing today, uh, and that's going to be to Jeremy. Websites, okay. So, so when you go to streamly.com, streamly yes. forward slash so. summer school. Forward so what, so summer what do school. I do? Just I sign it right yeah. here? No, no, you didn't. You're supposed to log into your school. I'll give you the friend. What comedy you want to I don't know. I don't know. We're here now. All right, come in. Bravissima, grazie. Siamo al ristorante, ti guardiamo, mamma. So <laughs> ladies, the first the first the è al ristorante, io sono qui nella vasca a firmare autografi con tutti gli amici di Sanremo. Right. Like, non so se vi ricordate, tu eri a Los Angeles quando, quando stavo girando questo film alla fine degli anni. Ah, ok. VIP signature that we're oh, check it out. Something's is happening. by Kelly to Jeremy. We're going to sign we that go. off Kelly's right signing. there. Signing the first VIP order. Here we go. No and pressure. you guys can start right. on your orders yeah. as well. Yeah. You have have okay, so here we go. Thank you. There you go. And then Boy, old man you go all the way to the your shop. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, so well, well, you're you signing your order. Adesso cominciamo a firmare gli autografi. Questa è tutta un'esperienza nuovissima per me. I got it. And now, in that picture, what would you think? Parliamo tutti insieme, tutto il telefono, everybody's ignorant. Simultaneously, we're on camera. Tell me, like, what were you thinking? It's crazy. Because the hair looks, it looks very... Um, okay. 80s ass. Instagram. Uh -huh. You know, very voluminous. Uh -huh. Very, you know. And I still have that here. Huh? Hey there. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yep. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I would just probably exasperate it with all the ignorance of like, what the fuck? <laughs> 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 no internet oh, connection. Oh, that's great. Oh my god. Uh, thank you. Thank yes. you, Jeremy. Internet connection. Hey, I got yes. one from Jeremy as well. Thank you. It, yeah, <laughs> Jeremy's all over the place. Jeremy's all over the Good to Jeremy can play. Oh, Wi-Fi, yes. Jeremy, no, no. let's see if I got so your far, picture here, Jeremy. Connected. Okay, Jeremy, I'm going to sign for you now, Jeremy. Okay. So. These, these are yours here, but Yeah. Here, here. I have a bunch here. Okay, let's see. Who wants to sign? The ones on the... Love Fabiana since Hard Bodies, too. That was even before summer school. Thank you, Jonah. Joan, Jonah, too. Um, All right. <laughs> This is good. Thank you. Okay. Hey, from right Colombia. Hey, thank you, John. So while everybody's gonna sorry. go through their Sorry, incorrect PSC. password. Ah, oh, mamma mia. I am so sorry. No, you're fine. So while everybody is going through their fantastically gorgeous high quality prints provided by streaming.com. Yes. By the way, go to streaming.com slash summer school and get your prints. Um, I would like to ask. What inspired you guys to get into acting? Ooh. What inspired you? Oh, that's a me. No, they want to see the movie. No, they don't want to see it. <laughs> uh, okay. Insecurity and an <laughs> ego. <laughs> right? Everyone? Yeah. 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 I love it. I, I started so young that... Um, uh, but in that my case, it was my mother's insecurity and ego. Not oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I think, I don't know if I speak for myself, but acting is the best escape. The, the, the feeling you get when you're acting is so encompassing. It makes you forget everything else. So if you have any issues or problems, or it's like a, the ultimate ex escape. That's uh, a great answer. It's really honest. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it is. Because I need a lot to escape from. <laughs> the, the, the escape of acting. Yes. Yeah, I can absolutely. Look at that shot. And that's what's so addictive. But when, when you're on yeah. stage, it's not just ego. There, there must be some ego in all of us, of course. But it's just uh, the pleasure you get from. You get so involved in what you're doing. And, and you trick your body, your mind, your feelings. And you're feeling what the character is feeling. And you, it really makes you forget about anything else that's going on in your life. For better or worse, so if you, 
So uh, <laughs> I'm listening to the lady <laughs> here Ooh, talking about sorry. this Jesus. beautiful idea. <laughs> yeah, so that yeah, for me. Yeah, um, it is. No, I mean, I, I totally get that. Yeah. Yeah. And you started young, very mm -hmm. young. Yeah, yeah. Start, started as a child actor, and that was one of the things that, you know, when you mm -hmm. don't really choose to be an actor at three, you don't. You know, Ooh, get your sweet. parents together and go, hey guys, come here. Listen, <laughs> I've got this idea. Um, you know, and so you do commercials. My mom had me in commercials and whatnot. And then it just, what Fabiana was talking about, I, I kind of have really eyes. Like you get to pretend to be other people. I got to pretend to be a football player. You know, I got to pretend to be you know, a Navy guy. Mm -hmm. You know, and all these different things that you get to pretend to do, um, which in my real life, you know, I, I get to pretend to be a person. <laughs> those, those, are, those are really cool pretensions. I mean, you get to be a, a Navy guy is a big stretch away from like, like what you've been playing, playing before in comedy and stuff like that. It's, it's much the variety. I, I think is also really a, a great gift. Being well, the joke was on me because you know you say, oh, I'm an actor, I'm an artist, so I don't have to go in day after day wearing a suit working for the man. And then I'm on a show for ten years in a uniform. Working for the man. That's right. Oh, man. I, so. I just found acting for me. Uh, Stuart Fracken says hello. Stuart! <laughs> Did we win? Did we Bingo. win? Did we oh, win? Great. Oh, hey guys. So, okay. Sorry. Acting for me was, uh, I, I just, mm -hmm. I never thought I was going to be an actor. I started so, off as a grip, a PA, and I, you, <laughs> you know, somebody said, go read for this movie, and I read for this movie that and Peter Bogdanovich was uh, uh, directing, and I got the part. So, it was oh, like that. And I did another, uh, I did an episode of Fame, okay, which my so uh, friend, Roy. Ice T at the time, and said, Kelly, go, go, go down here. And I got yes. that part. You just, that was so, a drop in well, he was Ice T at the time. What is he now? Well, you're going to live forever, that's why. Well, I mean, he, he did link me with that. I always thought it was Ice It. Ice T. There we go. But anyway, uh, that makes uh, much more sense. it was just, uh, I fell into so it, but see. I think. Living to uh, Roy. growing up, Roy. I knew how to you go. manipulate. And in so the front, right? When yes. they told me how much money I was going to make doing this film, I'm like, oh, I can do that. So, <laughs> truth being told, that's, here. that's what it is. Uh, but I really I love the camaraderie when you're working on a film, and then <clears> if you're working with good actors or if you're working with bad actors, it's kind of like I'm just going to go in on, I'm going to put my own spin on this part. So, uh, <laughs> It's so wonderful to work with uh, good actors. Yes. That makes me better. That yes. makes my thing come out more. And generous act, generous actors, you know, yeah, yeah. because it's important to have actors that, that want to share and, and sometimes you are with actors that are more interested in just Themselves. showing them. Yeah, you mean bullshit, what, bullshit, my line? Yes, <laughs> rarely, but it ha does happen. And then you have actors that, that are genuinely interested, in, you know, and, and I'm yeah. like that. It doesn't matter whether uh, I'm going to be m more favored or not. The important thing is what happens, and sure. that, that I've always been generous, and I, I always admire actors. Hey, Chandra. That <laughs> yes, so. So what do you look for in a script? Oh, that is that is a very good question. I what count my question? lines and then I divide it by the money, <laughs> and it's just a mathematical equation, basically. Yeah. The, the least I have to say for the most amount of money is basically how I choose my role. Ah, days off, God. Day, days, days that's off. A, I think it's like you know what? Yeah. How, how many days is um, it? Three. <laughs> right. And I get paid for a that's month or two. We're good. No, seriously, um, the, the, the question was, uh, what do we look for in a script? Okay, I would say if it's something no. that is what yeah, you look yeah. for when you're you do, watching a movie, you if, you if, like if to. you're something that so, is interest, oops, oops. Interest, uh, interesting to you, intrigues you, what or happened? you think that, uh, for me, if I think uh, that uh, I can do something uh, special, I'm not complete. or if, I, if I'm unique for it, yeah. so like if I can do something that I don't think other people can do. Can we uh, redo the? I have to talk to you, Rob. I have to, Kevin asked for me to sign something. A button clicked it and it disappeared. So I need to get that back somehow. I got you. Give me one. You got it. Minute. Okay, we're gonna get back so to that. I just okay, this so Roy. again, this is. Mm -hmm. Oh, so this sad. is. Don't ever call me that. The name's Chainsaw. This is <laughs> Jeremy. This is for Jeremy. Okay. Thank you, Jeremy. Yeah. Um, Jeremy. And by the way, what's your yeah. Jeremy's? I just, I just, I did want to mention this. Mm -hmm. um, I know this was actually something that's reminiscent for me and, a, uh, and possibly some other people, but 
the first time I ever heard of Texas Chainsaw Massacre is because of this movie. Oh, me too. <laughs> yeah, probation. That's a good way to come into yeah, it. Yeah, and like I didn't even <clears throat> that whole dancing scene. I'm like, that looks gruesome. Oh, and yes. when they're like, it's his art. I'm like, I need to watch this. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah, so oh, it's a, it's a nice I would movie. like to say thank you for this movie that are introducing a lot of people to horror movies. Yeah, yeah. And through a comedy. Yeah. Well, the, you know, it's the chainsaw bump. <laughs> oh, Keith, you're back. He's back. I got it now. Okay, so it was awesome. So now, so I, okay, he's, he's looking for an April Fool's Day picture with Kit, which I don't have or do. I'm, I'll, I'm sure it's here yeah, somewhere. Yeah, go right. through. We'll find him. Be in there. Keith, I don't, there I don't know anything, if Keith's online right now. If there, if there are right? no, uh, if you do not have the pictures that's uh, in there. I will help you. I got it. Hey, Jenny, uh, uh, you, I have an autograph uh, here he for says, you that I'm going to be signing for Jenny, Don't trust any of the Write this number on the back. Right five. To make sure that request, right? we get you the correct photograph. Write so, this number on the back. Five. Uh, okay. Uh, 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 I don't know. I don't know. Write the five. Write the five. Thank you for ordering it. You don't mind. Don't trust So how? Yeah, there's a seat. Can I see it? Really be good on this one would be a silver pen. Do we have any silver? Yes. Do you have any silver? Well, put it in the shirt there, uh, Keith. I'll put it inside the shirt. Unless Wednesday, you can see most of it. That could have been. Okay. All right, cool. Just wanted to make sure. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, out there in the interwebs, don't forget you can go get your print from one of your favorite talent over here at streamy.com slash summer school, because if you don't go, then you get an F. Ooh. Nice. It's a good tie-in. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, with talking about tie-ins. Italians. <laughs> like talking about what? <laughs> like, like, yeah, just like Chef Boy Um How was it when, you know, because I know a lot of times that uh, when you first meet someone, you're just like, oh, I can't stand this person, or, oh my gosh, you're so amazing, like, when you first met each other, from the time that you first met each other to the time that you rapped, how was it? Was it just cohesive right off the bat? Did you guys grow with each other? Was it like, oh man, you're just brand new people, let's just test each other out type of thing? Did you guys, were you guys all like, Dean, you're way too much like Jason, chill out. You know, like, what? <laughs> I love how kind of like, yep. But, um, no. Well, so yeah. how right. I, I think for me what happened, and I'm just going to speak for everybody because I know exactly what happened. <laughs> um, I, I think what happens was, first of all, it was a big studio picture. And for all of us, yeah. I pretty much remember, it was our first big studio picture. Yeah. So for those of us who got to rehearse, we were rehearsing at Paramount, which is a big deal. They had these great big gates, you walk through right. the gates, yes. you're at freaking Paramount right. Studios. Yeah. And Carl Reiner is your director. So none of us were known quantities to anybody else. So we were just the kids in the class with Carl Reiner. So the first couple of days, I was more you know, focused on Carl Reiner, the director, making sure that I was doing what needed to get done. And as we started to see each other's work, obviously I appreciated it, uh, you know, what the other actors were doing. So you kind of, and it kind of works like that for me too. It's like, yeah. you kind of make your judgments on the other people based on their work first, because that's what you're getting to see mm -hmm. most of all. Yeah. And since everyone was doing this really good work and very funny, it was like, oh, okay, this could be really good. Because you got to remember, you, you're bringing your part. There's Carl Reiner, but you don't want one of these other guys to mess up the job by being horrible. Right. And none of them were. Right. Mm -hmm. And then when we started shooting, then you started, especially after uh, we started actually shooting, when you film a movie, there's all this stuff where there's lighting, and then you can have time to hang out. You've already memorized your work, you've already got the job, then you feel a little bit more comfortable. And then we just started, I mean, just, I think, having a great, it, it, it probably helped that it was at Knott's Berry Farm, the beach, <laughs> and then in school, um, and then it was just- Off uh, of Shoop Street. Shoop. Yeah, literally yeah. Yeah. <laughs> off, off of a street named yeah. Shoop. And <laughs> Dean would do these, uh, these sessions of- uh, uh, Simon Says. Yeah, yeah, Simon yeah, says yeah. that were were brutal. Mm -hmm. They were brutal. I still I still have scars. <laughs> yeah, for, for me, I think that, 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 that would be that, that would be the first way that I would see how we got to know each other. Um, and then I think poor Richard didn't get to join us until until right as we were shooting. Right. Yeah. 
and and we all basically hated him, and we threw him in the dumpster. When we, <laughs> but we, but we had we had read throughs, right? We all got we saw each other at the, at the yeah, we, did read -through. Through. we did the read through. One, we did the read through. We got to meet. Yeah. yeah. And I remember yeah. this is my my big memory of the read through. So at the time on the radio there were these commercials for Molson Golden, and they were super underplayed. Right. Yeah. Super super, and it was weird because it was like that wasn't the thing on commercials. Anymore. Right. Right. It was just people talking. And I, remember I was sitting next to Gary at the read through, and Mark and, and Kirsty were reading, and, and they were super underplaying everything. And Gary yeah. leans over and goes, Molson Golden. <laughs> <laughs> now, Harmon, Harmon ended up breaking his, his collarbone. Mark, oh right. yeah. He was shooting that commercial just prior to showing up on this to, for the work for the movie, and he had fallen off. So he, when he was getting know, tackled that, he had a, a fractured collarbone. Oh. oh my god. Yeah, you know that, right? So they actually yeah. used him. I thought that was a stunt double. Well, he did actually run in, didn't he, a couple times? No, no, no. I, 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 tackled, I tackled his stunt double, but he actually hit me in the head with his helmet. <laughs> 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 but the whole movie, you could see him on the rollerblades. You could see that, that there's a slight, you know, when he's walking around with a shirtless on, on the rollerblades. Yeah, yes. So <clears> right? You could see that there was a little bit of a change there, right? Yeah. See, now I have to go back and like go slowly <coughs> just to check that out now. And, and the other, here, this is my, uh, my fun Mark Harmon story. I think I told this before. Uh, when we were, when the, the scene where he comes in and he's dressed up in the suit and, and he's like, he's going to teach. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so on his, yeah. on his close up, I had lived, it's the sexiest man alive. Yeah. Because he had been the uh, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. Here. And it cut, and he chased me across. Yeah. The <laughs> <laughs> he's like, God, he's like, wow. That's right. That's hilarious. Yeah, yeah he was a prankster too. Yeah, yeah that was uh, funny. That is. I'm you know, just sorry. I'm just like listening to these stories. I'm just like, <sighs> you know, for me it was like, because I didn't have much to do really, but sleep and lay there. You know, and then, <laughs> and then that is a great gig. No, it was a great gig. No question about it. But I mean, uh, coming in at the time, you know, we were all kind of just. Except for Patrick, who'd been working yeah. his whole life. Yeah, that was my yeah. first movie. Yeah, it was our first real, especially to be working with a studio movie, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And something along the line of, of, you know, Mark Harmon at the time, the sexiest man right. alive or in the world. And then Kirstie Alley, who yeah. is, you know, Cheers. she was huge from Star Trek. Right. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was a pretty impressive, for us, we, it, was, it was, you know, a hell of a win. But for me personally, I was, you know, I would just see all these guys with so much to do, and I, and I didn't I didn't feel intimidated, but I just felt um, a little separate because I'm just sleeping a lot, you know, which well, is cool. That was an amazing performance, though. You, <laughs> <need to butter. laughs> you don't need to butter me, young man. Yeah. I know it was great. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. No, really, it was. But it was uh, it was interesting to see everyone here like really being worked with. Mm -hmm. Carl was so generous and so cool with everybody. Mm -hmm. And yes, he would give man. everyone their time, and, yes. and they all yeah. felt. I could see it from the outside because it didn't take much direction for me. Right. But for these guys, they all had so much going on, interacting with each other, and their, um, and then with Mark and so in the story. And and so, a certain so, amount of freedom he, he he gave us. I mean, I remember there was one uh, scene where we were running the, I mean, the cars, and mm -hmm. we had all had one camera in each ca and oh, I right. remember him saying see. okay I'm, you're gonna have your camera on you do whatever you want <laughs> <laughs> just and I and it's like so much freedom coming from it I gotta do something so I remember thinking oh, who, who can I call give me some ideas I don't know and and, and just and that didn't just happen you were a star, one but you time. did your makeup right yeah oh my god oh my god I love you for that you guys have like what can I do what can I do so, okay oh, yeah, let me put lipstick so I'm like yeah. Yeah, she's, <laughs> she's gonna blindly put me lipstick but on but you that. did that yeah. so well though yeah. It was like literally our long. Oh my lesson. God! I'm I'm it, like this is moving because I remember yeah. him saying, and my character, you know, I didn't have a lot of lines either. Yeah, so, right. so this is I gotta come up with something because he, this car runner saying, you got your camera, do do whatever you want, and that doesn't happen a lot, no. you know, when a director yeah. of that caliber says, any director really, but especially says do yeah. do show me, just show me, go go right. for it, do whatever you want, don't worry, don't worry about being silly one. And that's what I remember, uh, other than just the feeling of being always taken care of, feeling comfortable. Isn't it amazing everybody really is their yes. character? And you think, looking back, seriously, looking back, you can't imagine any other actor playing these roles. 
just you know what I mean. Right. Act. So <laughs> you, you know, every you guys were your characters, and since then, it's it's because we're still the same now. A lot of us are still, you know what I mean. I tell You're you, not stupid. I tell I'm you. saying. <laughs> I, I wasn't I understanding what you were no, saying. Was, was, was that he? But no, you were the you were the endear. Mm-hmm. You had the heart of gold. You were the yeah. you were the guy that were doing the right thing, and you stood by people. You were a loyal Squ- friend. I mean, you were you know. You were always there. You were a, a, like a hero in, in the movie from that character. So, and you're like that now. You know, you're you're yes. there. You're a good friend. You're solid. You know, I'm like yeah. a hero. I'm like a hero. <laughs> <laughs> For me, doing it's that. like the most amazing man in the world. I'm like a hero. Doing that driving yeah. scene with Gary and Dean and, and Mark, uh, of course. Yeah. I like laugh at that. Yeah. I, you know what? That wasn't even acting. <laughs> I mean, I'm doing it right now. Yeah. I didn't have the car. I didn't even have the driver's license. Okay. But Dean is so, his humor, I don't know if the, that was written or what, but it's just, I was feeling, I, I'm, I'm, trying, I'm, I'm trying to feel this, I'm trying to do it. It's, I'm bouncing off their energy. That's what I'm talking about when you're working with good actors. I don't know how much of that was scripted. I was, I'm just fucking trying to parallel park, okay? <laughs> uh, I still look back twice when I'm merging. And yeah. pe- people all, all, all okay. they, talk about, they talk about that one oh, scene all the time. Like, is, oh, the it's the energy, the these world. guys. I was like, uh, yeah. Well, my favorite, uh, so beautiful. I got to know, was it a bit beautiful. when you ran out of the car with the seatbelt on, the, the seatbelt oh. was on? That was something that I was supposed to do. That, that was, was brilliant because when you see it, you think that it's an accident because you don't see it as a bit. I believe, I, I believe that was This is so fun, Bobby. It might have been because I don't know. Great on my motorcycle trips come jumping in here. Oh, yeah? That's yeah. It looks so I mean, bad. Like, you were so excited. Yeah. You're like, I got the... Uh, Italians have released like, oh, with that's that. great. Uh, look it looked great. But um, I think that's yeah. what we're talking about. Working with Carl Reiner. You should be around. Working with really, really good actors. I know Schwarzenegger has crash on you. Well, well he, say, he, and, and he loves me said, in the series so where we have this and talking to me love for each other, but he's you know, my ex-husband it, it, in the series. Was, uh, it was show. natural. Full bar. Well, it's natural just you guys being here, like, uh, just natural. piece by piece, you guys coming in and upstairs, and you're just like, oh, I haven't seen you in this long, I haven't seen you in this long. Mm-hmm. And then I walk away for two minutes, and you guys are already back into your own like world again. Mm-hmm. And it's just kind of like you guys were just like on set. I'm like, I just step back and just let you guys talk until we're just ready to actually get live. Because it's actually, it's so good to see like something decades ago. And you guys would just come yeah. back like this and just catch up and just yeah. click. I think one of the first times we got together again was at that screening that was arranged down yeah. in Hollywood. Beverly, well, yeah. the lawsuit. On Beverly. The what? There was the lawsuit. A Did lawsuit? Oh, 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 yeah, right. Those charges didn't stick, did they, Pat? Nope. They didn't stick. I am Reese Bird, baby. Reese Bird. Reese Bird. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, y
<laughs> Bullet had more credits than all of us yeah. at the time. So I can't keep a straight face when you talk. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so my tumors are getting. Are you guys signing funny. anything? I'm, I'm, no, they, you're supposed to sign when they come in and they purchase right here. Oh, here's one. Yes. Okay. So, yes. Oh, so, so right now we. So yeah, we're still looking for. Larry's yeah. busted. We currently to have Mike. five minutes left in the stream. If you have um, something in your queue that you don't have the pictures for, mm -hmm. we will get the pictures all right. for okay. you. Mike, so this you is for you. Out. Thank you. So all the VIP orders. Uh, if you have any VIP orders, just call it out. Just present it onto the screen. Right, if you have all a right. VIP order, Fabiana, I know you had some. Yes. And um, yeah, I have a more. VIP order. I think it's Jeremy. Oh, I think our man Jeremy. Jeremy, yeah. 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 which is awesome. So Jeremy, hello. So there you go. We're gonna be signing for you as soon as we get that. Yes. photo for you, and we'll I will that. spell it out to specifically to you, Jeremy. Anthony. No yep. two mics this for Jeremy. Anthony. So, okay, uh, I have a question about that picture. Fabiana, can you put that picture back, oh, up, yes. please? Um, did you have a lot of your mind when you were taking that picture? I, had, uh, I didn't have a lot on my head. <laughs> I'm bald, but on my mind always. Yeah, no, I was the first Centauri woman, so hey. <laughs> so uh, the look had to be <laughs> that TV as usual. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so the look had to be designed for the first time with the bubble cap, and it was actually very interesting to uh, to uh, to act with without my hair with a bald cap because it it gave me some sort of it made me feel a lot more expressive, you know, like everything, except for my ears uh, that I, I had them glued because they stick out, so I had them glue, glued Ouch. to the ball cap. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, because I didn't like them sticking out. Thank so you, other than that, I felt very um, uh, stylized, expressive. I love that character. Nice. Very romantic. And and the hair, yeah, was coming out. Also, awesome. it, was, it was a lot easier not to have all that hair in the ball yeah. cap. Um, so if you did a ponytail and you put it outside the Bald cap. Is that how it works? Yeah. Oh. It was they designed it, and then all the the rest of the Centauri women followed the lead that I inspired. Um, so how do you get all that hair into a bald cap, right? Right. That's yeah. Kind of so happy. since I wonder the, if other ladies were like, "Well, do you really have to like glue my ears to my head?" Because no. <laughs> <laughs> I glued my ears. Yes. Yes. That's yeah. Awesome. Uh, that's <laughs> like, um, yes. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, we, so you look so right now we're about, we have yes, about three, minutes left, yeah. three minutes left in the stream, so oh gosh, while you guys are finishing up your orders, I would like to ask, besides this, what other role, and it doesn't have to be even in a TV film, it could be in theater, it could be music, what other project role that you hold near and dear to your heart besides Ah, thanks. That's great. That's great. Oh, that's a good question. You mean like a, a, that we've that we've done, or like somebody else's role that you would want? No, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a different question. No, that you've done something that you're like, yeah, yeah I, I could, I could say I really enjoy doing that. And it could oh, be for me. For me, it would be easier to be Heather's. I loved when I read <sighs> the script for Heather's. I was a huge fan, and you know, it, it it was one of the things, probably one of the only things that I fought really, really hard for to be a part of just because the script was so crazy. And then when we were doing the movie, it was exciting because it felt kind of like, oh, this may come out like the script was written. And it did, and it became something that I'm just really, really proud of. So that would be that. But I mean, hand in hand, uh, both of these films were, Summer School and Heathers were to me the two big things that I'm really, really proud of. I'm, I'm thrilled with the TV work, absolutely. Love being on Jag, love being on Little House, but as far as like, Things that were kind of huge parts of my life, Summer School and, and Heather's. That's cool. I think for me, it's the movie Pat and I wrote and got made. That's so, true. You know, you know, Hollywood Palms, like, I, I think it's one of my, the, the, some of the best work I've done, and also just getting the movie made. You are hysterical. <laughs> if, if anyone likes Dean's performance in Summer School, Really, honestly, it, it's on Amazon, right? Hollywood it's, Palms. It's, uh, pirated on YouTube. TV. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he is freaking hysterical. He's got back of the truck. And, and he wrote it. We wrote it together, but he wrote the, he wrote his character, and I wrote my character. Yeah, cool. But you're amazing in that movie. Thank you. Hollywood, Hollywood Palms, it's called? Hollywood uh -huh. Palms. Ladies and gentlemen, go check Hollywood it out. Palms. Hollywood Palms. Go. Oh, wow. You know what? All of the movies, they mean something to me at different times. I would have to say... Uh, I did a little movie called The Pilot, 
it's like an after school special. And I was like a little b-boy, I was a dancer. Uh, so many people hit me up about that movie. Um, and it was an after school special. Um, I would say Mask, because that was like, mm. was, uh, was yeah. very uh, pivotal for me. Um, and um, You carried Eric and Cher. Yeah. 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 Job I didn't get. And uh, <laughs> of course, summer school. Not Eric, but you know, yeah, was that kid. was. I couldn't believe it. It's like I'm actually working. This is a job. Because <laughs> yeah. you know? all the jobs ain't like that. No. Yeah. Um, They're not. And I would say like uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, and, and the people under the stairs. Like I said, they're all different. It's like a murderer's yeah. row. Yeah, you're just yeah, you're, yeah, you're, yeah, you're just making it a hard yeah. comeback, yeah. baby. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you know what? I may. I may. But um, they're all, they all mean something to me at different times. But it's like when you get in a, a great ensemble scenario, like I said, that's natural. We see each other like, yo, no yeah. more time has passed. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I'm just grateful that I yeah, had that opportunity true. to work with these wonderful people. Yes. Yeah, that's awesome. They're all wonderful and generous. Yes. 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 What's the question again? <laughs> <laughs> sorry. You need to stop sleeping, sir. <laughs> no, but what, what other projects did you really US. love doing besides this? Yes, Italy, the like, US. You're just like, yeah, I love it. Uh, it could be TV, film, both. it could I be music, well. I go any back other to my projects. in Italy, so I'm okay, yeah. so back to Italy. Yeah. I've been really, really lucky, Italy, but, but I would have to say summer US. school. But other project, uh, it's really tough because summer school was able for me to, you know, make a step uh, in the in the business. But I wanted to be an ice hockey player mo most of my that. life <laughs> until I don't make all. it. Anyway, you so, have all your teeth, so you can't make it. <laughs> well, they're bad drywall right now. <laughs> but uh, no, I, and and I got it by being on that show, which was the the Porkies of the time for a lot of the NHL players. You know, like our Porky's, mm -hmm. our movie was Porky's, this was theirs. We were like in their 30s at the time. Anyways, they're, if I'm saying it right, my heroes, like Chris Pronger, guys like this, I got to play with. And I got to know these guys on a personal level that I otherwise wouldn't get that chance because this was their movie. That's you know, some saying, so outside from a creative standpoint, it's just from purely selfish gratification that I'm getting to meet a lot of the guys I totally respect on the ice from this movie. Right. <clears throat> but as far as movies, you know, shows, There's, there's so many I did. No, I'm kidding. I don't. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> but your motorcycle thing is fulfilling to you. This thing now? Yeah. 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 So, a job. That's a great point. Yeah. I, what I do now, I love. I absolutely love showing people from all over the world, our country, and doing it on a motorcycle oh, and cool. having these peak moments. You, you get people. For example, I've had couples whose parents had passed and wanted to ride Route 66. And they couldn't make it, so they spread their ashes, their oh. parents' ashes, all along Route 66. And we had two groups that rallied behind this. That kind of bond and unity from total strangers is unbelievable. And to do it on a motorcycle, it's the coolest thing. We'll get my cruiser soon. So don't yeah. worry about it. Get your cruiser. Get your Fabiana, cruiser. Right, what's yes. your favorite yes. other part? Uh, like, like Kelly was saying, every role you get means something and it's hard to separate what you feel and what the actor, the character really is. Um, my beginning was in theater, so I will forever be grateful for uh, Giorgio Streller and my character Miranda in The Tempest and that allowed me to, uh, coming from a background of a beauty contest, it put me on the map like, a, like an actor, like a serious actor. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, I came to the United States for the first time touring, so that will be forever my my, my calling card. See, my my the, badge of honor. Yes, yes, my badge of honor. Yes. Thank Mary. you. Thank you. And in the in this country, of course, was summer school. That, as I was saying, when mm. we did uh, our uh, came Cameras. together. Yes, yeah. yes. Uh, it, it allowed me to stay in the country because I was in love. I had done a soap opera. I come to Los Angeles and getting. A studio picture right away after two months it was okay I can do it I can do this you know and yeah. I got my that's uh, courageous my, too to make that move yeah. yeah 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 not as courageous as some other actors that have no you know I came with a sopra so in a right. way I was already with the you know a I job. had done it with the job the but yeah. still you know the switch from uh, soaps to uh, nighttime or or film at that time was even harder and so this was okay so that uh, gave me 
they start in this country and then after that of course Austin Powers uh, a different decade put me back on the map mm -hmm. and it was interesting because I didn't expect it to become the cult that it became it was like okay you're going up for this part is a lot of vagina and I go to my, <laughs> to my agent I go what are you talking about I totally mean, forgot this, about that yeah. that's the name you don't know that's yeah right. so that's uh, are you serious this and this is with Mike Myers this is legit okay and then I read the script and it was kind of hard to um to get it, you know, it's like you, you don't really get it until you see yeah, him nice. do it and you see the character and the costumes and all the details. So that, <laughs> even though my, uh, my, my acting per se was very much uh, just reacting and, you know, being able to keep up with him, um, it will be forever something that is, up until now, the thing that I'm most remembered for. But it's about to change <laughs> because mm -hmm. the character that, you know, as we said before, that I absolutely grateful and uh, can't believe that I, that I am this character is the last it. character yeah, that I just it. played. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yes. Uh, so this uh, in Fubar. Um, <laughs> I'm like, out of no, 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 got great names. <laughs> got great names. <laughs> um, so. Fabian is going to be excellent. Yes, yeah. yes, and it's just such a wonderful opportunity uh, that um, I hope I live up to it. And um, uh, Tally is my name, uh, and so that that's the, right right now. It's because it's the last one. Is you know the last one is always the the better one, the the best one, or the first one is always the best one. I don't know, but one of the two. <laughs> <laughs> but also no, there. <laughs> <laughs> What did you say, the only one? I said the title of my sex tape. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was sort of the last one. It was the best one. <laughs> All right, so yeah. with that, we, we're we about to close off, but I just have one last question. If the idea of a remake were to come up, and not summer school, but it would be like night summer school, That's cool. and it would be featured about your kids going to summer school, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Dean is like, I don't know about that, but yeah, what's your so like, would, would that be something that you'll be interested in? Because I think that that comedy, and like, because it's so sweet and innocent, mm -hmm. it would be due for a uh, cool, like, updated remake, but with you guys at with your children this time. Mm -hmm. That would be cool, because there's some 80s comedies, like, just like Porky's, that would. I'm sorry. Go yeah, ahead. Well, uh, no. Oh, some people like Park uh, like Park is like you cannot do no. that here right. again. But <laughs> <thank God. laughs> yeah. but like, would that be something that could possibly be an interest, or you would think that? Well, would I would. I, for me, I'm gonna pull like a real deep cut here. There was a movie called uh, Fish Called Wanda. Oh. Yeah. And then they did. Uh, they called it an equal. Right. Called Fierce Creatures, which mm -hmm. wasn't as great as a Fish Called Wanda, but it was the same cast, the same group, group and everything. I'm glad they did it that way, even though the second movie wasn't as, you know, the same. But mm -hmm. I would absolutely be up for something like that. I'd love to work with these people again. But Summer School with Carl Reiner yeah. and Jeff Franklin and everything that kind of made that Maybe movie happen. I don't know if you can put those things together. You can get Rob Reiner, you can get Jeff Franklin to write it again, you can get us. You can get pieces, but it, I don't know if it would feel the same. But I'd love to work with everyone yeah. again yeah. to do something different. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen in Hollywood, did you hear that? I have five. <laughs> Completely talented people waiting to work together again. Get it done. Get it done. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to say thank you very much to the cast of Summer School for being here with us. So <laughs> we're gonna you. go. We're gonna go around one more time. You guys are gonna tell us what your social media handles are and any upcoming projects or appearances that you have coming up. So let's start off the reverse this time with Dean. Uh, uh, on the spot. Uh, <laughs> My Instagram is the Dean Cameron or the Dean Cameron, and Facebook uh, uh, is Dean Cameron. Although I'm just Instagram is the yeah the Dean Cameron. <laughs> yeah. Oh, an upcoming. Uh, what about a music coming line? out? I, 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 Look at Dean. No, I'm just <laughs> a couple of movies coming out. Mm, yeah, no big. Well, I don't. I'm not really on social media, but I do have. Uh, Think I'm Kelly Gilminter on Instagram. Um, what do I have going on? I, I have some, 
you know, my kids are actors as well, so I have something that I may be doing with my kids once the script is really together. Um, yeah, it has to be the right project. I mean, I get asked to do things, but at the time when I was really, really working, I had kids and I would be gone on vacation, and I kind of fell back from that. Now that my kids are grown, uh, if the right opportunity comes around, yo, I'm ready. I like that. Very cool. Um, all my stuff is P underscore Laberto at Twitter, um, all the other places, Instagram, uh, Facebook. Uh, I, I run a, an acting school online called workingactorsschool.com. We do it all over Zoom. You don't have to be in Hollywood to train in Hollywood type of thing. Uh, if you're interested in becoming an actor, I've been doing this since I'm a little kid, um, or I'm not doing it compared to who you ask. Um, but basically, I've, I've been in the business, and, and we talk about working and what it's like to work in the business as opposed to just, just the acting part of it. Uh, and then upcoming uh, this Monday, I'm on NCIS, which is a little show that yes. Mark Harmon was involved in. Yeah. And, uh, and then I just did a movie with Judd Nelson called Dante's Hotel. Mm. Nice. All right. So there you go. Dante's Hotel. It, is it released yet? No, it's going to be, it's a Tubi original, um, and that's T-U-B-I, and I think we literally shot it last week. It may even be on this New Year. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, <laughs> wow. It's quick. Wow. Like Stanley <laughs> Kubrick, man. Every yeah. I is dotted, every T is crossed, <coughs> and they may have the whole script shot by the time we air it. So. Cool. Damn. Yeah. Okay, um, what's the question again? So, <laughs> uh, everything is my name, Ken Oland, O L A N D T. It's the Instagram, it's um, Facebook. Um, what do I have coming up? Just check us out, check me out if you're into motorcycles, and you'll see some good stuff posted on that. Uh, as of late, what I'm really getting into is this is now going back into art. Um, so I've been studying a lot of animation and drawing because my daughter Taylor is writing a children's book story and I'm illustrating it. Oh, so uh, this has been, I've been given the green light and the freedom from my supportive family to go back into, um, you know, into art. And I just, by freedom I mean, you know, it takes, it takes you away to get into art completely. And I'm loving it. So really, really loving the idea of painting and illustrating and uh, um, particularly this Getting to know these guys again, I give my big gratitude to Patrick, for Patrick, for bringing me back into the autograph world, and, and, and this the picture is getting taught. Show me how to do it. <laughs> Anyways, so I really uh, am appreciative of that. So anyway, that's that's the plan. Look me up on Instagram, Twitter, just my name. And it is my name too, Fabiano Daniel on Instagram, Fabiano Daniel on Facebook. Um, I have a few things coming up. Uh, a wonderful Christmas movie that I shot called Cloudy with a Chance of Christmas for Lifetime. A oh, nice great. independent yeah. movie that, that I shot in New York City lifetime during the pa pandemic called Love and Love Not. Check it out. The promo will be dropping soon. I have some ads on my Instagram page. And of course, Fubar, which is this, uh, <laughs> it's just amazing. Yay! Yeah. 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 Fubar, Fubar. It's a, it's a, it's, it's a spy series for Netflix. It's eight episodes that will be dropped all together in uh, the next year. Who plays your uh, husband? Um, Arnold Schwarzenegger Arnold plays my ex-husband. The bodybuilder? Ex yeah. yeah. Everything, the right? Governor. The only, the one and only. So. Uh, and it is inspired by the movie True Lies, which is an all-time favorite. And it is a, um, uh, my ex-husband and my daughter, both CIA operatives without my knowing. So it's, it's action, adventure, comedy, and uh, it will be on Netflix. So that's, that's cool, my right. story, yeah. Nice, awesome. And ladies and gentlemen, you know to go to streamly.com slash summer school to get your prints. And you could go to streamly.live on all social media and see what brand new talent we have coming up and a new signing. And with that, um, I had to do it. Have a good weekend. <laughs> I, just, I, just, I just had to do that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> goodbye. Hey, guys. Have a great day. Ciao. Bye, buddy. Thanks for hanging out. And I guess we yeah, so much. We'll do one very cool. Do it again soon. Yeah, I'll do it again soon. Do it again soon. And I'll do it too. Hold on. Fubar. All right, Fubar. Yes. Hold on. These are my friends. Okay, so I don't. So this.
There you Is are. everybody? <laughs> uh, Kelly, turn around for the for, for the live thing. Hello, my first hello. live. Thank you. Okay, how do we hang out? How do we? Uh, how do we? Yes, click off live and click out. That's it. Screen. You say that's okay, all, folks. That's it, and that's, that's all. all, folks. I just, I had to I'm not it. sure. It's still going. You guys. Oh, that. <laughs> Are you 